right, guys. Well, up at base camp, and like the previous video, I got everything cleaned up. I got the, I guess you could say the grass, you know, air quotes, mode with a weed whacker. I'm gonna wait until morning to wash the rig. So, what I did is I brought up some propane, and we are heating up the grill. Gonna light a fire, have a couple burgers, and sit by the fire, maybe enjoy a little bit. I also have this pole here. It's one inch conduit. I think it's one inch. Is it one inch or is it three quarter? One inch, one inch conduit. I got two 10 foot sections and I'm gonna try to make a tower for the antenna. I don't know if it's gonna work because it seems really flimsy, but I think we might have to use either a fiberglass pole or something along those lines. There you go. And now you can see it on the ground. There's two 10 foot sections. I might only use one of them. I think one would be fine, but I was trying to get a little more height for the OTR antenna for the Wii Boost. Other than that, everything's quiet. Tomorrow I'll have the hammock out, maybe relax a little bit, get some of the, the yard work here done, and then go home and get some of my, the, the other yard work done around the house. The uh, grass at the house is getting rather tall. But that's it, just popping in. It is a no, Sunday night. Wow, I slept awesome. Uh, it's morning, about nine o'clock. You can see the OTR antenna right up there. That gives me a little bit of 3G, uh, enough to watch a little bit of Netflix, a little bit of YouTube videos, stuff like that. But that's about it. Um, with this, the mountains here and the hills, I'd have to probably bring that antenna up another 20 feet, which I will try. I, I'm, this is just a temporary piece of uh, electrical conduit. I'm going to try to go up a little taller. Filling water here. I just rigged up this ladder so that I can gravity feed in without having to hold it or use the table that goes here. Um, it's scratching the table up and puts a lot of stress on this bracket. I don't want to take any chances. So, so we'll get three of these jugs and uh, that should fill the tank. And then I'll use that whole tank to wash the rig. And it needs it. So my truck there, you can see I got a bucket. Brought up my brush. I got a bucket here with some miscellaneous car cleaning stuff. Some soap. I just put some automotive soap in the uh, water bottle there. Looks much better up here since I cleaned up a little bit. You know, got the grass cut down and got it raked up a little bit. Still got to bring in some more soil. <sighs> but a nice day, a nice breeze through here. It's not too hot. And hey, it's not raining, right? All right, here's my outdoor shower setup, which I'm gonna try to use to wash the rig. What I have is just one of these low, super low flow um, shower heads. I put on a shower shut off because even with this in the slowest setting, it still runs water. And then I just used you know, the brass fittings, some hose clamps to adapt it to a garden hose. Then I had an old water hose, you know, the white hose. I think it might even been the one that came with the camper originally. Okay, hooked into a quick disconnect, like that. 
So all I have to do is snap it in there and then turn the water on. Now we can turn the water on. You hear the pump kicking on. That'll pressurize. I have a video with this in use. I'll put that link up above in a card. Just click on it and you'll see how the whole setup works with the shower tent and the shower pan and stuff like that. All right, now with the pressure on, you can see what we have decent. Um, and then I can turn it off like that to just get a little bit so while you're lathering up. And then when you're done, you turn this little valve here and it shuts it off. I might take the shower head off for this only to get a little bit more pressure. Um, I'll go through water a little faster, but I want to get the job done. Well, she definitely looks much better. I still have to do the roof on the tops of the tents, but this ladder's not big enough, or I have to lower the roof to actually clean it. And we'll have to get that. I did get the solar panels clean. They were disgusting. It's amazing I was still making power. You know, I'm only getting the filtered sun on the camper. I gotta make sure those solar panels are clean. But she looks much better now. I feel better about it. You know, one thing about keeping a camper or a pop-up, probably a pop-up's even worse because of all the stitching and stuff, out in the woods like this, you have to take care of it. The elements, mother nature will take its toll. I don't toll. have time today, but once I can get the roof down, I get the, the roof cleaned really well. The water pressure coming from the hose is nowhere near as good as I thought it was gonna be. Um, but I, I only used, about 20 gallons of water, 25. So I can't really complain, you know, when I wash the whole thing with less than uh, 20 gallons of water, because I still have water in the tank. But at least it doesn't look abandoned anymore. All right, well, that's it guys. I'm gonna clean up, clean this hose off, probably get out of here for today. Maybe I'll come back this week. I don't know. I gotta set some time aside to really spend some time up here. I'm just not spending enough time up here, I guess you, can't have your cake and eat it too, you know what I mean? I want to. Site looks but good. 